Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading from the 31st of January to February 6th. Now this is gonna be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. All right, so Scorpio, in this reading, I'm gonna be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm gonna clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge here is the Ace of Swords, and what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Page of Cups in reverse, okay? So Scorpio, your challenge here has a lot to do with the truth, okay? Somebody here is maybe telling you the truth, or you may be deciding to tell someone the truth here. Um, there's something here that is just needing to be revealed now. It's been kind of, you know, swept under the rug for a really long time, and it's like you need to confront it now, okay? And that's your biggest challenge here. We're gonna find out why uh, when we clarify in a moment. Now, in the recent past, you have the devil, the lovers, and the four of swords. I feel like there was something really toxic in your connection in the recent past that came to the surface. Um, I feel like you were really very much connected to this person. The idea of disconnecting from this person in the past may have seemed very difficult for you because there was a really strong connection. So it looks it looks like, excuse me, <clears throat> there was a desire here to really, um, you know, work on this connection and take it from being super toxic to, you know, back to this place of, you know, we love each other, we care about each other, let's heal the relationship. So an effort to heal the relationship in the recent past is what I'm seeing here. We're gonna uh, clarify and find out more in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the strength, the judgment, and the wheel of fortune. I do see a major life-changing um, event or situation that's happening in your life right now. It is trying to come to your attention. There's something here that's trying to be brought to your attention about this change that is happening in your life. I feel like this change has been somewhat um, positive for you, but it's also been very difficult for you. And this is why you have the strength here because you may be t trying to tame the, the changes that are happening right now in your life. We're going to find out more in a moment. Now, in the near future, you have the Ace of Pentacles, the Moon, and the uh, Ten of Cups. There's something major coming in for you. You have the Ace of Pentacles, which is for me usually an opportunity, a new beginning. It does um, bring about stability. This could be your finances, this could be about a job. We're going to find out what this opportunity is. And and by the way, this opportunity is something you don't see because the moon is here. Okay, that's why your challenge is the Ace of Swords, getting to the bottom of something here that you don't really know about. Um, it looks like this opportunity that you don't see coming is gonna possibly bring you a lot of happiness with the Ten of Cups. We're gonna find out more in a moment. Now, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, you have the Page of Cups, the Hangman, the Six of Pentacles, the seven of wands the five of pentacles and the world okay in reverse so what you don't see coming is the fact that um there has been some sort of delay uh in regards to some sort of situation in in relation to your life i feel like a lot of you have been waiting for someone or someone has been waiting for you and there's been a major delay but that's going to change finally um the good news here is venus is finally going to be moving direct um this week so that you know this is a a very very good uh uh, piece of news for you to know um, one of the things I see is someone coming back to you okay so if you've been um, waiting for maybe an earth sign Capricorn Virgo Taurus to come back I do see this person coming back sign doesn't matter um, I just feel like this is someone that you have some sort of solid um, memories and you just have a very strong connection with this person and the idea of you know wondering whether or not this person's going to come back it looks like they are going to come back that's what you don't see coming because the world is here in reverse Okay, so something here hasn't completely ended. I feel like the reason why you and this person disconnected in the first place was because one of you was giving way more to this connection than the other person and someone here got super tired. But the good news here is, is that someone is deciding to eventually take action and this, this, um, energy of feeling blocked is going to be removed okay and again because venus which is your your ruler of the seventh house if you're a rising scorpio uh taurus is in the seventh house which is ruled by venus astrologically so this is good news for you okay something here is finally going to be <clears throat> resolved especially when it comes to um 
a situation where there's been a lack of cooperation. Okay. I feel like there's something here about a lack of cooperation that's going to change. So let's get into your reading, uh, Scorpio, and let's see what's going on for you. Let's clarify your challenge. All right, so your challenge is clarified by the uh, Seven of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and the Six of Cups, which is being clear, which the Ace of Swords is being clarified, which is your challenge. So for many of you, um, <clears throat> your challenge has a lot to do with some sort of confusing situation in relation to um, some sort of... Um, You've been through a lot of trials, a lot of tests and trials these past few months. And I feel like this has a lot to do with someone here that is from your past that you have a lot of memories with. Um, there's been a lot of confusion, but your challenge here is to get to the bottom of this confusing situation. And the reason why you're being called to do this is because the person that you had some sort of falling out with or where things have been very difficult, you and this person haven't confronted the issues. Okay. So, and I've been saying this in your reading for quite some time, you haven't really confronted the issues that led to to maybe a separation or that led to some sort of conflict between you and them. I do see your challenge here has a lot to do with you not wanting to give up on this situation. And Spirit is saying in order for the situation to get back to a place of balance again and happiness and, you know, for the confusion to be removed, there's something here about you needing to cut through lies, you needing to cut through um, <clears throat> confusion. Um, that's your challenge here. Okay. So once that's done, it looks like you and this person are going to be able to get back to where you need to be together. Okay. So that's your challenge. That's what I'm seeing. Um, let's clarify the recent past. Let's clarify the devil. <clears throat> All right, so the devil is clarified by, you have the three of wands, the five of wands, and the high priestess. So again, in the recent past, I do feel like you knew intuitively there was going to be um, a conflict, okay? I feel like there was definitely some sort of conflict here in the past, but the conflict that happened between you and this person in the past, it kind of needed to happen. And the reason why it needed to happen was because, first of all, there was a lot of stagnation in your connection in the recent past because of one Thing, one specific thing that you didn't address or one specific thing that this person didn't address. And I think intuitively you knew like, okay, we have to talk about this. We have to get over this conflict. We have to deal with this. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to move forward. So I do feel like there was some sort of stagnation in your relationship and there was a conflict, but it was the conflict happened, Scorpio, to push you and this person out of this place of stagnation and toxicity. Okay. Tell me more about the lovers in the recent past for Scorpio. Okay, so the lovers is clarified by the Eight of Swords, the Sun, and the Page of Pentacles. So I feel like there was an offer here in the recent past um, when it came to this connection. Um, I do feel like this person tried to offer maybe, you know, um, something to you to, to help you feel like, you know, there's still an opportunity here. There's still an opportunity to heal. But again, a lot of you were feeling within your relationship stuck. There was a, an energy here of feeling stuck in the recent past, but you also learned why you felt stuck. You started to learn why this may have been the case. And again, it all stems back to some sort of conflict that a lot of you didn't want to confront and just kind of started out of the blue and but needed to happen because there was a lot of stagnation here in the recent past. OK, now in the present moment, there's a major opportunity that's coming in for you with the Wheel of Fortune. We're going to find out what that is when we clarify in a moment. But first, I want to clarify the judgment. OK, there's something here that is coming to your attention in the present moment. It is changing everything at this time. So the judgment is clarified by the four of swords. You have the four of wands and the ace of cups. So in the present moment, I'm really strongly getting that there is going to be an opportunity to have a new beginning with someone here. Okay. There's two stories I'm getting. The first story I'm getting is some of you are going to be attracting a brand new love and it's going to lead to a lot of stability. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I feel for majority of you that are watching this, there's going to be a new person that comes into your life. Okay. 
new person coming in, whoever this person is that's coming in, they're going to bring a lot of stability into your life. They're going to bring um, a happy home. It's going to be peaceful. Four of swords. This is somebody who is going to help you heal. Um, this could be even you having a brand new beginning with someone that you've already you know, you've already have a relationship with, but either way, spirit is trying to get your attention. There are signs and synchronicities. Whenever the judgment shows up, it is um, an energy that is to awaken you, to get you to this place of recognizing and realizing that there is going to be a brand new beginning for you. And it's going to lead to a major change. Tell me more about this change that's coming in for Scorpio in the present moment. Okay, so the Wheel of Fortune is clarified by the Eight of Wands. You have the Eight of Pentacles and the World. So it looks like in the um, present moment, there is some sort of um, new cycle that's coming in for you. You have the world here. Okay, so uh, if you've been waiting for communication or if you've wanted to talk to a specific person to work things out, again, that's why I'm getting two stories because for some of you, there is gonna be an opportunity where you discuss with this person about what needs to come to an end. There's something here that needs to come to an end and that's why your challenge is the Ace of Swords because again, in order to get some sort of situation back into a place of having a new beginning, communication has to happen. And because Mercury has been retrograde for such a long time, um, you know, there may have not been an opportunity to do that, but it looks like in the present moment, for many of you, a new cycle is going to begin. And when that cycle begins, there's going to be an opportunity, eight of wands and eight of pentacles to work things out. I'm also seeing for many of you, and this is just a side story, some of you are going to be ending a job, okay? And that job that you end is actually for some of you you may look at this situation like oh i can't believe this is coming to an end but it's actually part of your destiny okay the wheel of fortune whenever it shows up in a reading it's part of your destiny something here needs to happen and that's why spirit is saying in the present moment you have strength you need to have strength and recognize that wherever you're at right now in your life scorpio you're there for a reason okay you're there for a reason you're going through something for a reason so i feel like there's a job that's coming to an end but there's going to be an opportunity that comes in a new beginning which is going to allow you to again move into a new direction okay so um that's what i'm seeing for uh some of you now in the near future talking about an opportunity look what comes in for you the ace of pentacles which again is very much related to your finances so we're going to clarify the ace of pentacles and we're going to see what this opportunity is for you that it looks like it's going to lead to a lot of happiness for you. But first, I want to clarify the moon, okay? So something is hidden from you in the near future. Um, somebody here may even be hiding their emotions from you. Tell me more about the moon. Why is it here? What is the message for Scorpio? Okay, so the moon is clarified by the three of cups. You have the king of pentacles and the chariot. Wow. 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 Okay. So what you don't see coming is somebody is going to come in and make an offer to you. I feel like this person that's coming in to make an offer to you is a, an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I'm also getting maybe a cancer here. Okay. So whoever this person is, they're, they're seeing you as somebody that they want to make an offer to, but you don't know that this is going to happen. Remember how I was saying you're finally going to be able to move forward to something that's actually that you're meant to move forward to. Look, you have the chariot here and you have the three of cups. Some of you are going to be celebrating a brand new, um, um, opportunity that comes in now for some of you there is going to be a reconciliation with somebody here when this person comes back they're coming back as somebody who can actually offer you something stable so maybe before in the past they were coming in as a page of Pentacles and you know you felt very stuck in this connection but it changes because this person has now had the opportunity to go within themselves and to really confront the things that they need to confront within themselves and that's what happens during separations right we go through um, our necessary changes and it looks like this person comes back around but it, the way in which they come back around Scorpio it's very much unexpected okay so again two stories I'm getting some of you are going to be be meeting someone new who comes in offers you something stable and you decide to move forward with them um, for others of you there's a reconciliation with somebody here that you haven't had a chance to talk to and because Venus is finally going direct which is your ruler of your seventh house that's why things are finally changing for you so let's talk about the opportunity that's coming into your life with the ace of pentacles what is this opportunity um, about that's coming in for scorpio in the near future
Okay, so the Ace of Pentacles is clarified by the star, the strength, and the judgment. So for many of you, I am seeing... Um, you know, in the near future, there's going to be a lot of healing. There's going to be an opportunity for you to finally come to this place to be open to an opportunity. If you've been looking for some sort of financial um, gain or opportunity here, there will be an opportunity for that. I feel like this is more related to healing, though. So if you're somebody who's in the, the healing arts, you help people heal, that could be something that you should be looking into because there may be an opportunity here that um, is coming in. Spirit is saying in the near future, you need to be aware of the signs and synchronicities around you okay so if you are not looking for opportunities and you're not open to the signs and synchronicities you may miss this opportunity spirit is saying you need to be open in order to find opportunities that are related to your happiness and this is something that i see um, coming in for you very very happy ending here in the near future but you also have to be available right you have to make yourself available to see those opportunities that are coming in so let's get some advice for you scorpio what is the advice all right so the advice for you here is the eight of cups you have the magician and the nine of pentacles so spirit is saying your biggest piece of advice moving forward is a few things the first thing that i'm getting here is you are a magician okay um we are all ma magicians we are all able to create the reality that we want and spirit is saying that for many of you you're inquiring about your finances okay um in order for you to increase uh, your finances you need to disconnect from something here that is not serving you anymore the question you need to ask yourself Scorpio from now moving forward is what is no longer serving me in my life if this situation is not serving me am I prepared to walk away from it and manifest the reality that I want a lot of you have the power within you to create what it is that you want but you need to also realize that you can't have both you can't have something that dissatisfies you and hope that it's going to change and then try to start something new. There's something here about you needing to sacrifice. Okay. So disconnecting from one situation that's really not satisfying to move towards what is going to bring satisfaction to you. There is an opportunity for you to start a business. There's an opportunity for you to work on your finances, but it's going to one start with you believing that that's possible. And two, making a sacrifice to disconnect from something that's really not serving you anymore. If you want a new vehicle, you need to make space for it. If you have your old vehicle in, you know, your uh parking space well how are you supposed to put the new vehicle there that's that's an analogy that i use so your biggest piece of advice here is to ask yourself what's not satisfying you you know how can you disconnect yourself from this in order to make room for something bigger and better okay so this is what i have for you scorpio i hope this reading helped thanks so much for tuning in i'll see you on the next one bye